Hi, this is Dave Jack, Superintendent of Fauquier County Public Schools. I've got an update to provide you. Uh, it is uh, relative to today's work session of the Fauquier County School Board that took place at 1230 at the Warren Green Building. I'm going to read excerpts from the document that uh, will be coming out from each of our schools. And I, I believe we're also will be sending an email, a mass email to folks, that, and it will contain similar information. Uh, it says, beginning Monday, August 16th, Fauquier County Public Schools will require all staff members, visitors, and students to wear face masks at all times while indoors, except while eating, drinking, or at nap time, when exercising, or playing a musical instrument. This, uh, this applies to all FCPS workplaces, school buildings, etc. Um, I wanted to also mention um, our goal, my goal, is to make sure kids are safe. Uh, we'll, we're going to do everything we can to make sure kids are safe. We also um, uh, want to make sure that school stays open and that kids have butts and seats at school. That's important. Uh, my uh, feeling and my belief is that masks offer another layer of protection toward that goal, keeping kids in school and keeping them safe and healthy and keeping school open. I think masks help with that. So I think kids should be wearing masks. However, we also recognize that the state public health commissioner's um, uh, decree, which came out yesterday, allows for a parent to request an opt-out exemption for the following reasons. The student has trouble breathing or is otherwise unable to remove the mask without assistance. The student has a sincerely held religious objection. The student has a disability, an IEP or 504 plan, for example, where wearing a mask would inhibit communication or receiving of services. The student has a health condition or disability that prohibits wearing a mask. Um, again, this is this is from the state health commissioner. This is not this th that verbiage is right directly from pulled directly from the order. We didn't write it. So many Richmond did. Please note if your child is opting uh, opts out of wearing a mask and they are de determined to be in close contact to another person testing positive for COVID-19, they will be required to follow quarantine protocols. However, students wearing masks may be exempt from quarantine if all students in the classroom are masked and meet other case-specific conditions. I'm going to read that again. If you opt your child out of wearing a mask and they are determined to be a close contact to another person testing positive for COVID-19, they will be required to follow quarantine protocols. However, students wearing masks may be exempt from quarantine if all students in the classroom are masks, masked and meet other case specific conditions. So um, another good reason uh, to wear masks in school, but again, that opt out language that's included in the order sort of is what it is. Um, that's it as far as the update is concerned and uh, you'll be receiving more information from your child's school. And as I mentioned, I believe we're also gonna be sending out an email. Hope everyone has a great weekend. Uh, stay safe, uh, looking, forward to things, looking forward to things cooling off next week, hopefully. So uh, please stay safe. Thank you.